Welcome into the K0LWC Hamshack. Today, we're checking out the stubby Bingfu dual band mobile antenna. Now, I bought this antenna because I wanted something low profile that would allow me to easily go through the car wash without having to swap antennas. Now, I live in a relatively urban area. A lot of the repeaters I talk on are fairly close to me. You know, I can get by with a lesser antenna, and that's why I felt like it was worth the roll of the dice to try to buy this Bingfu and see how it performed. Now, when I looked at the Amazon product page, I was intrigued by an antenna that's less than five inches tall, but yet rated on VHF for 136 through 174 and 400 through 480 megahertz on UHF. Again, at this size of an antenna, it raised a little bit of an eyebrow, but at 15 bucks, um, I was like, hey, I'll roll the dice. If it turns out not to be a great antenna, at the very least, I can use it as a cap when I do go through the car wash. So it was worth a shot, and I get to share exactly what this antenna is all about with all of you. So boom, click, buy it, I get it the next day on Amazon Prime. Now in construction wise, it actually feels pretty good, it has a good weight to it here in the coil in the base of the antenna. Um, you can see it has a nice rubber gasket here. It, the center pin feels pretty sturdy. Overall, it doesn't feel too bad. The plastic feels a little bit cheap, um, but overall construction feels pretty good. But the proof in the pudding of this antenna is gonna be taking it up to the car, putting it on the nano analyzer, and seeing exactly where this thing lies in terms of SWR. So let's go out there and take a look. Now this is the antenna that I normally run on my Tesla and it's a fantastic antenna. It's a Larson 270B and a Diamond K400 NMO mount. Um, I'll have affiliate links down below in the description uh, that you can check out if you're interested in these. But let's just take a look at this antenna on the Nano, which is all tuned up just for comparison's sake. Taking a look at this here, we're sitting at 444.5 and we're right now sitting at 1.6 to one. It's pretty much 1.5 to 1.6 to one across all of 70 centimeters. Looks really, really nice. Let's swap in the Bingfu and see how that changes things. All right, let's go ahead and take the Larson 270B off. And we will swap on the Bingfu. All right, get that nice, tight, snug. All right, let's head over to the Nano. All right, now we're looking at the Bingfu antenna and you know what, it looks pretty good. Here at the bottom, uh, it's getting up towards 1.6, maybe touching 1.7, but honestly, uh, looking pretty good. 1.5, 1.4, all the way then to the top of uh, 70 centimeter. Uh, this doesn't surprise me really, because I thought that on UHF, this thing would be decent. It would be, you know, tunable, but the real question is VHF. Let's check that out. Uh-oh, this is what I was afraid of. All right, we're right in the middle of two meter, 146.540, 4.2 to one. And anywhere that Bingfu claims that this antenna will work on VHF, we're looking at four or five to one SWR. We're in the 150s, it didn't look good. All the way down, let's go to the 130, still 4.5 to one. So. I know I surely don't want to transmit on VHF using that high of an SWR, and that totally makes sense now, the experience that I've been having on VHF. I all right, those readings were not that great. But what's been my experience running this antenna now for about a month and a half? Now remember, I live in an urban area. I live in an area where repeaters are plentiful around me, and the coverage of the repeaters that I do use are pretty darn good. On UHF, this thing is a usable antenna. It's okay at best. It's not a good antenna. It's not a great antenna, even on UHF. It's just okay. But again, you gotta remember, we're talking about an antenna that's only a few inches tall here. Uh, but again, on UHF, it's at least usable. If you live in an area where you're using a UHF repeater and you have rock solid coverage, but you want a lower profile antenna, this may fit the bill and work okay. If you're living out in a rural area where you really gotta you know, punch out to the horizon for a repeater that's 25, 35 miles away, this is definitely not the move you're gonna wanna do. And remember, this is not a dual band antenna. Uh, those SWRs were horrific. My reception on VHF has been atrocious. Uh, it's not usable on VHF. You can have repeaters that used to be full scale for me go all the way down to S2, S3. Um, so it really, really, really underperforms on VHF, and it's just simply not a dual band antenna. Uh, whether that's an, a QC issue on Bingfu's part, or they just could never get it to tune right, but still advertise it as a dual band antenna, that's unclear. But would I call this a dual band antenna? Absolutely not. 
Um, I wouldn't recommend it. You know, if you if you really need something that is a low profile antenna and your UHF repeater is really strong, this may be okay. But still, I would just go get a monoband UHF layered antenna and call it a day. I would not recommend the Bing Fu uh, for anybody else out there looking for an antenna like this. Now, keep in mind also, while this is a Bing Fu brand, I'm guessing that this antenna is probably labeled under multiple companies out of China uh, on Amazon. So if you see other companies that have a similar looking antenna, um, just assume probably it's the same exact antenna with a different company name. And again, I would stay away from it, even for 15 bucks. Now, this will become my car wash cap antenna. So it's still gonna serve me a purpose at 15 bucks, but uh, would I recommend it? No. If you have a question, drop a comment down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you again next time.